Hello, World Tank Blitzers. It's Littlefinger. It's November 10th. It's Friday. It's time for another store review. Really wasn't going to do one this week until I saw that they have the WZ-122. This tank right here, Chinese medium in stores, and I have to give you my two cents on it. Um, so hang tight until we get to that part of the review. I really wanted to go through quickly the luxury lounge here um, just for some ideas. Um, you can exchange your uh, premium time, gold, uh, silver, free XP, boosters to get the diamonds. Now, I do not recommend basically selling anything gold related, gold boosters or gold. Uh, and, uh, and unless you're like me with two years worth of free um, premium time here, I wouldn't recommend selling premium time either. So just be careful with what you give away. Boosters I'm fine with. Um, and then if you're, again, like me with so much silver and so much free XP, you have nothing to spend it on, then certainly cash those in. Otherwise, it's better to use those for your tanks um, as you progress up and um, get higher and higher on those tiers, or as we call it, grind new tiers. STG. I bought this. I already had the STG. I just wanted to see what the conversion was. It's only 1.5 million silver. So certainly not worth uh, buying and converting stuff only to get 1.5 million silver if you already have the STG. Warding on the STG, very difficult. Medium, rear turret, difficult to play. Just keep that in mind. Um, what I do recommend for those of you that are grinding a 10x booster, this is like playing 10 battles in one time, really helps you grind up the, the tech tree lines. So if you get these, make sure that you're using tanks that you are currently working on researching um, to maximize that 10x booster. And as you can see, I've taken all of the, the gold boosters here and the time extension boosters as well. Outside of that, nothing really that I'm interested in. We'll move into the store real quick. Another thing I mentioned last week was the free mystery box. I got gold of it. I noticed several people in my new clan got gold out of it. Just wondering how many people out there opened that free mystery box and got gold. Um, I feel like there might be a little bit of uh, gamesmanship going on with how many different ways the mystery box is now being sold in the store. Um, that they've kind of tricked you into thinking the mystery box is good, it gives me gold. Um, it's really not. It's probably one of the worst containers out there. Uh, and when I see it here where you can spend 42,000 gold on it, um, just don't, 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 don't. Um, you know, you can buy it here in a bundle of five and at least you're gonna get some shards out of it, a bundle of 25 and, and those shards. Um, but again, I really do not recommend. You've got it here. At least this one, you're getting a certificate, so you're guaranteeing yourself a tank. You've even got it in the mystery draw box. And uh, just keep in mind, they've got some nice fours and fives over here to tempt you into buying it. But chances are you're going to get a lot of these number ones first, and you're going to spend that gold on them. Um, so stay away from the draw as well. Um, one of the other things here, we've got the lucky containers here. Um, for $10, you're guaranteed a tier five tank, 13 for a tier six. What I do like about these containers is if you're in a situation similar to me, maybe you don't have quite as many tanks, but you've got a lot of those lower tier collector premium tanks at tier six, tier seven, you can buy that tier six. And if you pull a tank you already have, you get the next tier up container. Um, and so the containers in the store only go up to tier eight, but there's tier nine and tier 10 containers that are also available should you pull tanks that you've already got. Um, so that's a good way to potentially get a, a, a tank for, for cheaper at a higher tier. Um, I know they also have a bundle of, I'll talk about that in a second. I don't want to forget about the luxury reactions pack. Interesting spin now. We've gone away from all of these camos that were for sale for gold. And now we can buy our reaction pack. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence about this. As you can see, I haven't purchased it yet. Uh, I think 3,000 gold is, is too much for these. I'm assuming they're permanent once you purchase them. Um, 
Kind of thinking about the 380,000 free XP, because for me, I have nothing to spend free XP, but for you guys out there, free XP is so important when you're, uh, say, buying that new tank and you want to just go ahead and upgrade all of the equipment on it. That is what the free XP I really think you should be using it for. Um, so let's see if we can find that bundle. Here it is. Yeah, Lucky 3, $60. All right, guys. So let's see. If I go down to the to gold down here, and for $60, we could buy... If you just had $60 in your pocket, burning a hole, you're going to spend it on Wargaming. You could buy 35,000 gold plus this 3,000, 38,000 gold, okay? And yeah, this is getting you three tier eight tanks guaranteed but think about that uh that's twelve thousand six hundred gold per tank that's tier 10 level amount of money for that tank so just keep that in mind and you don't have um that uh the definitive you know what you're gonna get right because it's any one of these potential tanks uh you could walk away with the the 168 <laughs> or the Kyler. Um, and I don't know if you'd be too happy with that, um, spending 12,000 gold per tank. So just be wary of that as well. I think this is too high. All right, so now let's get into the tank sections. The 121B is greeted first here, 20,000 um, 20, gold. To me, this is just quite an average medium tank. Nothing super special about it. Certainly not one of my favorite tier 10 medium tanks. I think 20,000 is a little bit steep. Yeah, the camo on it is pretty nice, um, but that's about it. Certainly don't see much benefit here for joining the $36 one. However, there are these five Chinese containers. They have a 10% drop chance. So that's gonna get you a 32.8% chance. So basically a one in three chance of pulling a tank out of these five containers. Once you've opened all five containers, uh, one out of every three people that opens five containers should pull a tank based on those stats. The 25, the 5X is only for the 121B, so that's not great either. Um, so yeah, I don't, unless you're just a true collector, I would not recommend the 121B. Moving on to the Progetto, you know, it's so hard to see this tank for sale in the store here. Uh, awesome container, what's inside? Uh, so we got a few things here, RO, um, that I don't have, but um, some, some premium time. But for $24 for a tank that not too long ago was given away for free, it's just hard to recommend. Keep in mind, you can buy the tank here for $10,000 with these next to useless mystery containers. For $10,000 gold, the Progetto is, in my opinion, a must own tier 8 medium tank. I, you're not going to regret owning the tank. Um, but I do think $10,000 for a tank that was given away for, for free not too long ago is a bit steep all right and this is what made me come and do this video we've got a bundle here with the kyler and the wz122 and correct me if i'm wrong the kyler i believe was given away for free in an event um wz122 for eight thousand five hundred, which is a high price seven thousand five hundred is a good price for a tier eight uh, I call this the poor man's chimera, except it's quite expensive, so only the... Yeah, well, I wasn't going to say it out loud. Um, the tank is slow. It's got a high um, alpha, 400 alpha. So it's got a long reload time, not even at 2,000 damage per minute on a tank. Only 7 degrees of gun depression, uh, 45 kilometers per hour as your top speed. And I didn't look up a uh, power to weight ratio there, 17. So it doesn't accelerate very well either. It is not a great tank. Um, currently sitting at about a 59% win rate in it, which is a little bit below my average. So um, I like medium tanks that are more agile, mobile, can get around. Um, and this tank just feels like a heavy tank without the armor, which is why I had to come in here and give me my two cents and warn you about this tank. It is, in my opinion, not that fun to drive. 
And then when you throw it into a bundle, yeah, you're going to get a better deal. Um, the Kyler there does have uh, kind of like, I guess, this heat guard or, or esh guard or whatever you want to call it on the side here. Um, however, what I find with this tank is just about any shot shot through this drive front drive wheel here pens. Doesn't matter what the angle is, if you're steep angle like this or narrow angle like this, any shot through here seems to pen. Um, which is why I really do not enjoy driving this tank at all. So not recommending that deal there. And then we've got another interesting bundle here with a T64 uh, Chinese light tank at tier six, zero for armor, but it does have that great mobility here. Uh, 72 kilometers per hour. You've got eight degrees of gun depression on it. It's gonna be a, a low damage. Um, you know, it does, as it says here, concealment and movement have that light tank advantage of, of not being visible when it's moving unless you're within spotting distance of another tank. Um, got a thousand gold here. That's interesting to see in this deal. And the poodle here, which was given away for free not too long ago. So, well, I mean, maybe it was long ago, but, um, you know. I don't know. It, it just seems like a lot for two mediocre tanks, in my opinion. And we talked about the brute force here last week. Only four days left. It's a good price, 9,000 gold for these two tanks. You're getting a tier eight heavy tank. However, what I mentioned last week, um, British tanks typically are fast firing, low damage, which means that you have to be on target. 24 damage per minute. Um, only doing 225 damage and 10 degrees of gun depression. So the tank works well. Um, it's not horrible, but it's not a must own or it's not a tank that you can carry in. The Gravedigger is what makes this unique. The Gravedigger is such a huge tank. When you're up tiered in this, it is quite a formidable tank to for other people to pen. Um, typically you're finding people shooting at the front of your cheeks here usually with premium ammo or down here at this lower plate um, and unless they can get onto the sides or rear um, what makes this tank so unique is six shells in the magazine doing roughly 80 damage per shot um, kind of one of those gimmicky tanks feel like it's interesting to own and uh, yeah I pull it out from time to time to play but you can buy it by itself for 5,000. So that is going to be my wrap up of the store for the week, guys. I hope you have a great weekend. And of course, get educated, not fingered. Little finger out.